Well, as we celebrate Italian in Connecticut week, two cousins are telling their family history through genealogical studies and an oral history. Here to tell us how they connected their family dots are Don Maletto and Louis Neshi, co-founders of the Neshi Institute of Genealogical Studies. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, so, Don, I'll start with you. What made you want to kind of trace things back? So it started um, with a picture that I had received from Louis of our great-grandfather, Severa Fortunato Neshi. You both have the same great-grandfather? Yes, we do. Okay. And so I showed some, some cousins, some younger cousins, eight, nine years old, this yeah. picture, who obviously are very Americanized at this point. Family's been here for over 100 years. And when they saw the picture, the reaction was, that can't be, we can't be related. <laughs> they couldn't connect to the, the immigrant story. Sure. Um, and so when I heard that, I said to myself, if we don't start putting our family history together and telling our story, right. it's going to be lost to the past. So, so that started us along our... And Louis, how exactly did you do this? Uh, well... Where'd you uh, start? <laughs> yeah, not very easily. Uh, well, I'll tell you, that where, we, where we started was um, in 2008, we had a 75th uh, birthday party for my dad. And uh, so my sister asked me to put together a slideshow. And in so doing, uh, there was only about um, 500 images, mm -hmm. non-digital, uh, which had to be scanned in. So I'm looking at all these faces, and that's what really encouraged me and gave me the impetus to look forward and ask more questions. Who are these people? How are they related to me? And it just took off from there. Yeah, you had to do some digging, right? Absolutely. Uh, we have a couple of pictures we'll put up on the screen, and you can kind of uh, explain what we're looking at. So that's the uh, 1899 Ship Manifest, which was actually the first time that we have four of the five brothers coming to America, wow. and um, they're going to Boston, North Street. And huh. it's a, it, it, actually, that was, that's what helped us pick up two of the brothers who we did not have information about. And that's how genealogy works, is yeah. it's just you're telling stories through these documents, and you're learning all this information. It turns them into real people, though, if you want to. Uh, this is uh, this is our great grandfather and uh, Severio Fortunato Neshi. We like to just call him SFN for short. <laughs> and uh, to the right, uh, or to to his left uh, on the screen, um, that that's uh, uh, that's uh, Fred Neshi, his grandfather, which was uh, my grandfather's brother. Uh, my grandfather is uh, being held by his left hand there on the lower left of the screen. Uh, another brother there uh, being held by Severio Fortunato Neshi and his first wife uh, to his right. And so this was taken in Boston. It's the earliest picture we have of him. That's fantastic. Yeah. And what type of resources are there for if people want to trace back? Uh, it, it, they just go on and on. Uh, Ancestry.com, obviously everybody's going to tell you about that because it, it, it's really a combination of all databases. Uh, but it's, it's limited, like anything else. Uh, National Archives is a, a great way to go. City directories will give you information that you just can't find anywhere else. And uh, uh, the, the Mormons have a great website as well, too. Great. FamilySearch.org. That helps. It's free, and it's free site. Oh, that's an added bonus, yes. right? Are you taking Thanks. any lessons away from this? Yeah. Um, I think that what I take away is listen to... The, we, the elders in your family. Well, there you go. And right? tell, <laughs> they have stories to tell. They have, and you know what? There's truth in those stories. So ask questions of your grandparents, of your parents, mm -hmm. and, and hear about that. And preserve your family history because it's unique to, to your family. Right. Um, Luz, we have a couple extra pictures we're going to put up. And you could just uh, talk to us I'll about the process best. here. Well, this is the beautiful village of San Giovanni di Gerace, which is in the southern region of Italy, uh, Calabria. And... Um, my people uh, are from there too. Yes. Maybe we're oh, related. Oh, guys. Yeah, yeah, we could be. We're all cousins. We're all cousins. Um, there we go. Yeah, and this is. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to let uh, Don talk yep. about this. That's my. Uh, that's my grandfather. It is, huh? Fred Fred Neshi, whose actual name is Ferdinando Luigi Neshi, and there's a unique story behind that, which we discovered, which our family never knew. Yep. Um, these were two brothers who unfortunately passed away in a tragedy, and he was named after them. All right, and who are we looking at here? Uh, this is uh, Reverendo Giovanni Battista Neshi. He was um, <clears throat> a uh, World War I um, priest uh, chaplain in the Italian army uh, who was stationed in Africa uh, for a while and then returned back to his hometown in San Giovanni, the, the image we saw a little while ago in that town. He got sick uh, and uh, was um, 
uh, you know, uh, sent to a military hospital in another region, and uh, we're trying to find his burial site. Wow. Some treasures you found in this process, Absolutely. Huh? How interesting. Well, thank you both for being here, and you're going to continue tracing it back? Our pleasure yeah. to do it. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Ryan, we'll send things over to you in the kitchen. Grazie, Teresa. We're here in the Bender kitchen, and we're practicing our old school photos. Ready, guys?